I'm sorry, John. Your daughter had an overdose. John Bon Jovi's daughter was fighting for her life. But if she survived, she would go straight to jail. Kirkland police say 19-year-old Stephanie Bon Jovi was found unconscious in her Hamilton College dorm room early Wednesday morning. What her father was most heartbroken about is that he was the one responsible. At the small campus, students I talked to seemed to know of Stephanie Bon Jovi, but no details about the incident. Immersed in a destructive drug addiction, Stephanie Bon Jovi would most likely face a painful death. And you yeah. had a scare with Stephanie mm -hmm. not too long ago where you got a call about her ODing on a form of heroin up in college. And, yeah. and that must have been so terrifying, John. The worst phone call ever. That call changed the singer's life forever. It happens to all kinds of families all over. There's a lot of pressure on kids these days. There's access to things that my generation didn't have. However, the overdose would only be the beginning of the nightmare. Stephanie went from a life of luxury to falling into the deepest, darkest hole. The singer's daughter was arrested on charges of drug possession. A second student, 21-year-old Ian Grant, was also arrested for drug possession. Both were charged with misdemeanors. Your daughter overdosed and is under arrest for drug possession. The words John Bon Jovi heard over the phone completely shattered his life and the image he had of his little girl. TMZ is reporting that rocker John Bon Jovi's daughter Stephanie was arrested in upstate New York earlier this morning for possession of a controlled substance, possession of marijuana, and criminally using drug paraphernalia. Stephanie became the living example of what celebrity families have to deal with. The pressure of being the daughter of the historic singer caused her to fall into an addiction that almost took her life, but it also ended up landing her in front of a judge. The 19-year-old Hamilton College student was caught inside her dorm room after cops responded to a call that Stephanie may have OD'd on heroin. Stephanie was found alive and was immediately arrested. Cops searched her room and found heroin, pot, and other drug-related items. For John Bon Jovi, all this was a surprise, despite the fact that he was part of a world where everything was related to alcohol and drugs. He was never known as addicted to any substance. Bon Jovi desafió precisamente el estigma de lo que se considera bien en el paquete completo del rockstar. Ese tema de las drogas, del sexo, de las relaciones desenfrenadas, de las fiestas, eh, donde siempre está tan presente el alcohol, creo que hace que pensemos que definitivamente él no quiso caer en el estigma de lo que es ser una estrella de rock. Maybe when you're a boy, it's all about that. You know, you want to go sex, drugs, rock and roll. Then it becomes more. You know, then it becomes, what have you done with a career? You know, what have you done with a life? The truth is that this episode turned into one of the most traumatic of the 59-year-old singer's life. And of course, for a father, his children are the most important thing. So the thought that he could lose one, but that he would also inevitably be in trouble with the law, came as an immense shock. Of course, the Bon Jovi frontman understood that fame and money don't mean escaping these problems. It happens to all kinds of families all over. There's a lot of pressure on kids these days. There's access to things that my generation didn't have. 